This is Storytelling with Puppets. This time, the story is called It's Not Easy Being a Bunny. It's adapted from the book by Marilyn Sadler. Now, to tell this one with puppets, um, you have to have a rabbit puppet. Um, and then the other puppets I'm going to use are a bird, a frog, a moose, and a skunk. Uh, you can substitute one or more of those if you want to, um, just depending on what ideas you come up with. Um, but here's how the story goes. <clears throat> Hi there! I am a bunny. Uh, you know what bunnies do? Uh, that's right, we hop! 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 And do you know what bunnies like to eat? Yes, we like to eat carrots! Mm. <laughs> yeah, but, but there's one thing. It's not easy being a bunny. It's not eating carrots every single day, hopping all the time, playing only with other bunnies. It gets kind of boring. So, I have decided I am not going to be a bunny anymore. The only thing is, I haven't decided what I'm going to be. Maybe I'll walk around and see who I can find. So just a, a few notes about the beginning. In the book version, uh, the, the bunny actually talks to his friend and, and complains a little bit about the things that bunnies have to do. And that works really well, and I've done it that way with puppets, with two rabbit puppets. But I also like to just use one puppet. It, it's a little simpler, for one thing. Anytime you can cut out a puppet, it just simplifies things. But it also kind of starts the story with some audience interaction, which is good, because they're responding to what bunnies do, and he's addressing them instead of just um, talking to himself. So it's a nice way to start it, but you could do it either way. Um, so back to the story. Um, let, let's see, so, so who should I be? Oh, I, I think I see someone, someone coming along. Squawk, 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 squawk! Uh, hello? Oh, hello? Um, what are you? Me? Why, I am a bird! Uh, what are you? Hmm. You know what? I am a bird, too! Uh, you are? Uh, do you have wings like a bird? Um, yeah, see? My floppy wings on my head. <laughs> well, that's different. But since you're a bird, we can do bird things together. Uh, okay, like what? We can fly. Just flap your wings and up you go! Come on, give it a try! <laughs> uh, okay. Um, let me see. Um, uh oh. Hmm, looks like you need to work on those wings. Goodbye. Oh gosh, I don't think I'm gonna be a bird after all. Being a bird is is too scary. But I'll, I'll find something else I can be. Let's see. Oh, here, here comes someone. Croak, croak. Hello! Um, uh, who are you? I'm a frog. Who are you? Oh, you know what? I'm a frog, too. You're a frog? Um, yeah, yeah. Well, y y your eyes are a little small for a frog, but nevertheless, I'm a frog. <laughs> C can we do some frog things together? Okay. Perhaps you'd like to hop with me. Yes, yes, I love to hop. Okay, let's hop. 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 Say, you're a good frog hopper. Thank you. It's fun to be a frog. Now let's eat. Oh, okay. Do you have any uh, carrots? Carrots? No, no. We're going to eat flies. Flies? Yep. Delicious, juicy flies. Flies? Yep. Are you ready to find some? No. I decided I'm not a frog after all. <laughs> All right, then I'll go search for another one. <laughs> I'm not going to be a frog. Being a frog is, is disgusting. I mean, they eat flies. But there must be something else I can put. So you get the, the, the pattern of the story. He meets another animal each time, and the other animal shows them, it shows them something that that animal does, and, and he's not going to like it. Um, so there's a pattern that's really easy for the kids to, to follow, but there's also the surprise of what the next animal is going to be. Um, so, I wonder who else I'll find. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello there. Oh, hi. Uh, what are you? Me? Why, I am a moose. And, and because you have one, ap one animal after the other um, meeting uh, the bunny, each one of them has to have a pretty distinct voice, I think. Uh, it's not that hard to make them. Uh, they don't have to be uh, very extreme, but just different enough from each other to establish that they're a different kind of personality than the last animal we saw. You're a moose? Well, you know what? I 
I'm a moose too. You are? Why, those are the, the floppiest antlers I've ever seen. I know, but nevertheless, I am a moose. Hey, can we do some moose things? Um, I suppose we can. Let, let's climb to the top of a hill. Okay, that's kind of fun. I, I can do that. What do we do now that we're at the top of the hill? Well, we look down upon the valley and we give our mighty moose call. Wow! How does that go again? You know, mook. Mook? Yes, we say mook. Go ahead. Oh, okay. <coughs> mook! No, no. A mighty moose call is much louder than that. Try again. Oh, okay. Loud. <laughs> mook! No, no, that's not it. Here, here. Uh, listen close. Get, get close and listen to mine. Oh, oh okay. Here's, here, here's my mighty moose call. <coughs> mook! Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm okay, but I just remembered I'm not a moose after all. <laughs> all right, then I'll go find another moose. <laughs> yeah, I I'm not going to be a moose. Being a moose is too loud. Hmm. Boy, it's harder than I thought to find the right kind of animal to be. Uh, maybe this one will be. Uh, hi! Uh, uh, what are you? Me? Well, I'm a skunk. You are? Guess what? I'm a skunk, too. You are? Where's your stripe? Well, I don't have a stripe. Your tail's pretty small. Yeah, I'm a small-tailed skunk. Well, if you say so, would you like to do some skunk things with me? Yes. Uh, what do we skunks like to do again? Um, we like to smell. We do smell. Oh, that's great. I love to smell. I love to smell flowers. I love to smell raindrops. I love to smell... Are you okay there, skunk? Um, you know what? I decided I'm not a skunk. Skunks are too... stinky! <laughs> All right, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I like to smell flowers. I don't like to smell like that skunk. And I'm a quiet fellow. I don't like to yell like the moose. And I like to eat carrots. They're lots better than flies. And although flying like a bird looks cool, I just as soon hop. Hey, I just decided what I'm going to be. It may not be easy, but I'm going to be a bunny. And that's the end of It's Not Easy Being a Bunny by Marilyn Sapper. And there's one way that you can tell it with puppets. <laughs>